Today, I'm gonna be ranking every single entity inside of Roblox doors and deciding which ones are the best and which ones are the worst. And I was planning on doing this video, but then this dude named Think Noodles went ahead and had to do it. So, uh, shout out to you, Think, for beating me, I guess. I'll get you next time. But as you can see, I have every single entity from the game here. I've got all the normal doors entities. I've even got the rooms entities over here on the far right. I even have Jeff the Killer from Super Hard Mode down there too. And then as you can see with all the tiers, we've got S for Superior, A for Amazing, B for Basic, C for Crap, and then we have F for your freaking garbage! And before we get into this, I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below as I go through the video and rank each of these entities how you would have. And then, you know, I mean, while you're at it, go ahead and smash that like button. All right, but first off, we've got our boy figure right here. And you know what? I'm gonna already go ahead and put him in the A tier. Because even though this dude is bald, his mouth is literally full of sharp teeth. And he kind of just wanders about the library, not really knowing where he's going. He is a pretty well-made entity and is pretty spooky. Especially with them big loud stompers. Mmm, listen to them stompers go. But you better be careful because he has a great sense of hearing. And if he can hear you, he's gonna... So, you know, I think A tier right there is pretty good for figure. And then, ooh, next up we have guiding lights down here. Ooh, where should I put guiding lights? You know, they're not too good, but they're not too bad. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them right in the middle. You know, the guiding lights will just illuminate your way through the hotel if you're ever in a dark room or just kind of confused and lost. It's like one of the few peaceful entities in the game that don't really want to mess with you. In fact, they don't only not mess with you, they just kind of help you out. So, you know, a guiding light, you deserve beast spot. You're, you're just chilling. You're an alright guy. Oh, and then next up, we got our good old boy Rush down here. Oh, I'm just dragging him about. Listen to his screams as I flail him around. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put Rush at the front of B as well. Right in front of Guiding Light. Because even though Rush is one of the OG entities, and all he really does is just come rushing through the halls, you know, hence his name, Rush. That's kind of all he really does. He's just, he just rushes. His name is Rush. That's his job. He just rush. It's just Rush. But once again, be careful, because if you don't hide in that closet soon enough, Rush is gonna sneak up on ya. And then insert... Oh, and then we have another entity next that is extremely similar to Rush. We've got Ambush over here. Now, I might get some hate for this. I might not. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and put Ambush right above Rush in A. Right behind Figure. Because, you know, even though Ambush is exactly like Rush where he comes beaming through the room, Ambush has a rebound mechanic where he can go back and forth up to six times. Or, you know, even more times if you play, like, in possible mode or super hard mode. And not only that, I just think Ambush is a little bit more intimidating than Rush. Like, especially his alerting sound when he's about to spot in. Like, listen to this. Like, I mean, this dude is intense. He is intense to deal with. He goes back and forth. He be screaming at the top of his lungs. And similar to Rush, if you're not canceled, he might just pounce on ya. All right, and the last two entities that we just ranked were 2D entities, but now we're back to the 3D. We've got our boy Seek down here. Now with our boy Seek, you know, we have the whole chase scene and whatnot. Not only do we have the initial chase scene at door 30 or so, but we also have the second chase scene at door 70 or so, where the difference is with the first chase scene, you know, it's it's very, very easy. But then with the second chase scene, you have to go through door after door during the chase to figure out which one is the right one to go through. Okay, but I'm definitely gonna get hate for this because I'm actually putting Seek into the C tier. This dude is garbage. His only mechanic is just chasing. And once you get used to the chasing, you know, it's really not that hard. You just gotta run from bro. And especially if you have pills on you, you can just pop them and start beaming. All right, but this next guy down here is extremely annoying. I hate this dude. We've got a halt. I'm putting you in freaking garbage. You're going in the F tier, buddy. And it's not because he's actually garbage. I just hate this dude. The lights go super flicky flicky mode when you enter a room that's signaling that he's about to spawn. And then once you have to go through his big old terrorizing corridor, this dude just makes you have to turn around and around and around, trying to find your way to the exit door. And overall, it's just annoying to deal with, you know? It's just, it's just annoying. I hate Hulk. All right, but who we got next? Oh, we got the eyes down here. So with the eyes in these, it's actually pretty simple. You just have a chance to go into a room and this dude will spawn in. And then if you look directly at him, you start taking damage and then all you really have to do is just look away. So, you know, eyes isn't really that big of a problem. He has trolled me sometimes, you know. But, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put eyes at the end of a B tier. I think guiding light is more useful than eyes though. So, guiding light stays in front of eyes. Okay, and now we got another entity that I freaking hate. We have Screech. 
Oh, and then I see a dude peeking through the door right there. Okay, I'm gonna also go ahead and put Screech in the C tier. I'm sorry. I just hate Screech too. This dude will go ahead and whisper in your ear when you're going through different rooms. And not only that, if you're not quick enough to find where this dude's whispering from, he'll go ahead and take a big old chop out of your face. And overall, Screech is just almost as annoying as Halt, you know? You can you can deal with Screech a little bit easier, but I still think Halt deserves to be an F down here. But you know what, Screech? You get to stay behind your daddy's seat inside of C. You're both little oily freaks of nature. Oh, and he's still peeking at me. What you looking at from that door, huh? Next up, we have a dupe. And with the dupe entity, it's exactly what his name says. You can have a chance to enter a new room in the hotel, and there could be either double or triple of the same door. And if you're not careful enough with which door you choose, this dude will go ahead and take a big old chop out of you too. But overall, he's really not that hard to deal with if you just pay attention to what doors you're going through. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put dupe at the end of seat as well. You're annoying for sure, but I can definitely deal with you. Whoa, and now we have a fan favorite up next. We've got Glitch. Right off the bat, I'm putting Glitch at the end of a even though it's very rare to see this dude during runs not only does he look super cool with his rainbow glitch effects but he has always gotten the best out of me and has scared me each and every single time this dude shows up so you know what i respect the hustle glitch you're gonna be at the end of a tier oh ho, ho. and now we have a personal favorite next we've got our boy jack all right most people might not agree with what i'm about to do but i'm actually gonna put him in the s tier because not only does he look super cool and pumpkin facey just like me but this dude is also so kind of somewhat rare to spot in the game. You can sometimes be trying to go into a closet and this dude will go ahead, which can also end up getting you killed if he jump scares you, which I kind of like. I think it's kind of funny. But he also has a chance to spawn in front of new rooms you enter, which causes blood rooms to spawn. And I really like the blood rooms. Not only because blood red is my favorite color, but they're just cool. I like it. It's my favorite. So you know what, Jack? You get S tier. You're almost S tier as another Jack I know. Captain Jack attack. Okay, and this next one I freaking hate. You're going in freaking garbage too and you're going at the front of freaking garbage we've got our boy timothy the spider right there now let me tell you this dude is more annoying than halt you know i'd be minding my own business going through drawers trying to collect gold for jeffy boy shop and this dude has the chance to spawn in and just jump on my face like he owns me and not only that but he takes a bite out of me and takes a small percent of my health now nah, i hate you timothy you are annoying probably been laying the eggs around the hotel you little freak of nature but oh we have another entity we have smile I'm putting Smile in the S tier too. This dude basically does absolutely nothing in the game, but when you spawn into the initial lobby of the Doors game, you can find this dude just looking through you through the window, and he's just giving you a big old smiley grin, wishing you luck. I love Smile. He's just he's just a derpy little guy. I like him. Oh, ho, ho. and this next one is also going in S tier. We've got El Goblino. Look at him holding his little gold bars. He's such a little cutie. Aww. El Goblino is always there to greet you when you enter in Jeff's shop from beating Doors. 50 and this dude is always saying hola amigo he's like one of the most friendliest entities inside of the game and not only that he is just cute and i mean look at me and him side to side we're basically like father and son he looks exactly like me like the ears and everything uh-huh comment down below if you agree you know whoa and speaking of jeff's shop we also have our boy jeff up next which i am also going to put in s tier right behind el goblino dude i love entering jeff's shop after door 50 he's always there with his tentacles waving at you his big old white eyes staring into your soul and he's always got a But I love Jeff. Jeff is my favorite. So Jeff also gets S tier. Oh, and then this next entity was actually hiding in the dark black down here. We've got Shadow. Okay, where should I put Shadow at? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put Shadow right in front of Jack and S tier as well. Not because he really does anything, but he's just extremely rare. I think he was actually so rare that the first person that came across it thought it was a glitch in the game until they posted it on Twitter and then L Splash just replied and said, oh yeah, LOL, that's a rare entity. And then the whole fan base went crazy. But basically, yeah, you just have a chance to run into Shadow through the rooms. That, that's all it is. It's just rare. I don't know. It's cool. Ooh, and then next up, we have this annoying guy right here, which is also going in freaking garbage. You don't even deserve it. first place in freaking garbage. You deserve the end. We have Snare. Snare is one of the most annoying new entities in the new Hotel Plus update. He's even more annoying than the Hulk. I hate Snare. Comment down below L Snare. Oh, and then what's this? We have another 
into the just hiding in the black abyss. Oh, we have void. Okay, where would I put void in the? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just gonna put void at the end of B. Because once again, this entity doesn't have a physical body, but he will go ahead and help you catch up with your teammates if they go ahead in front of you. Although he does take a good amount of your health. So actually, I don't know. Should I put him in C? Nah, you can just stay at the end of B. It's basically at the beginning of C anyways. Oh, and then we have another new entity. We've got our boy Bob over here. Which, you know, I'm also gonna go ahead and put Bob at the end of S tier. Because even though this dude does nothing, I mean, you can literally hold down on him and it'll literally say nothing nothing happens but he's just quiet he causes no trouble you just be vibing oh and then next up we have the room entities down here we've got jeff but i think i'm gonna go ahead and do these last two down here starting off with hide now if you guys didn't know there's actually an entity inside of each closet and his name is hide and i'm actually gonna go ahead and put this dude inside of a tier because this is the entity that makes you start freaking out and be super paranoid inside of the closets when you're hiding usually he'll just say in your face get out over and over again and then if you don't get out he'll just shove you out which i think is kind of funny and especially in my first ever doors video hide actually saved me from getting killed from ambush oh god oh god what is that what is that what is that okay what is that ambush what do you mean oh my god why is the green oh why is it green why is it green okay what's this what's this oh my god okay go away oh Eviction notice. This dude deserves being an A spot. Ooh, and similar to Guiding Light over here and B tier. Next up, we have Curious Light. Oh, hello. Which I'm also going to go ahead and put Curious Light inside of A tier as well. Curious Light is just basically the little text messages that you get when you die. It also basically gives you tips and stuff like that. Very similar to Guiding Light. It's like Guiding Light's cousin. But also, if you play on modded versions, like my furry mode, Curious Light can say some pretty funny things. All right, and now all of these are the basic doors entities that we've ranked so far but now we're moving on to the rooms entities down here starting off with our boy a60 which is going at the front of a because get it a tier for a60 Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. A60 is basically exactly like Rush, but inside of the rooms level. And I'm giving him A tier because he is one of the original entities, especially from the OG rooms game. But in the new doors adaption of the rooms level, this dude is 10 times more intense and 10 times scarier. And I just love him. Also, he's red and red's my favorite color. Whoa, and then next up we have A120 down here, aka A200, which I'm also gonna go ahead and put inside of A tier right in front of figure. And I'm putting him in the A tier as well because this dude is also super intense inside of the rooms level. You'll be hearing the drums of death when this dude is on his way and he just be glitching about all rainbow and fidgety style. And honestly, it's pretty intense. It scared the crap out of me when I first encountered him. But overall, he's a pretty cool looking entity and I do like him a lot. So he deserves the A tier. And then for the final rooms entity, we have A90 down here, which I'm putting in freaking F tier. I hate this dude. He's a good mechanic. Don't get me wrong, but he's freaking annoying. You know what? You're getting in front of F tier. That's how garbage you are. I just be minding my own business in the rooms level. And then this dude just pops up in my face. And if I don't stop fast enough, he goes ahead and screams and takes all of my health. Leaving me at 10% or just imminent death. Like, don't get me wrong, though. He does look cool. He's a pretty cool looking entity. But I hate A90. Tuh, I spit on you. And then last but not least, we have one of the new entities from Super Hard. Jeff the Killer. Which I'm also putting in freaking guards. This dude's annoying to deal with. You just be minding your own business once again going through room after room and this dude just pops up in front of you and then he just stabs you to death and then once you're down from jeff the killer he emits the famous line okay no but boom that is me ranking every single entity inside of doors once again like i said in the intro if you guys want to rank these any different go ahead and comment down below and let me know but with that being said make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and comment down below what other doors videos you want to see me do